What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, we're going back here. I was like, I don't remember what we're doing at all. What are we doing? So, um, nope. how's there we go. school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing Can I came along when I the... did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Okay. Uh. You sure. really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that Just off your hands. open the damn out. door. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care it's of okay. this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Yes. Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little. Oh. Damn it. No oh, shit. That's the only thing to add to the list of fix. Can we just get inside already? You two are useless, like, seriously. Don't push me, little bitch. Well. At least the door is up. All right, fuses go into plugs. Should be. Sure. Let's try this one. Oh shit. Oh, I guess I should read. Doesn't tell me anything. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but that's a lot of work for an old door. Pass me that handle. Yeah. I don't know what Thank I'm you. doing. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just a, just a bum knee. I, uh, 15 for the garage. Ball. Okay. Ball. In college? High school. Best Is he still talking? Well, till the garage. Well, I got hurt. Damn. That's rough. Heater generator. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little it's salt still and lime. Still talking. Here. Salt and lime. It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> mm. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey. Sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. And then we need one twenty. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, bear insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks. We're, 90. You know? We're not getting it. Um, 
Oh, shit. I guess if it's 120 for everything. <laughs> ah, there's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your Six. nose in there. Shh. I could take care For fuck's sake, these two are so Mildew's stupid. always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no so sun. Fifteen. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? So sixteen. You know. Eighty. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax. Mm-hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. And oil and spring. Linseed? Hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. <clears throat> Teeth. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Silver bit. It needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. That's probably what was jamming it in the first place. <laughs> probably so. Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need Oops. Hey, I'm moving <laughs> at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. Alright. Women, huh? Don't do that. Man. Shut the uh, fuck up. Did you read the note next to the box? Well, it just says the garage is 15. That's all it fucking says. Huh. Don't budge. Is there any three in one oil in the barn? Nope. You'll have to pick some up at the Becky's. Anyways, see how loose the bolt is? Strike needs to be replaced. Does that mean you can't fix the door? Um, yeah. Not today. So much for an easy fix. So we'll need to do at least another 25 somewhere. Or 15, I mean. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the well, math, maybe Allison. I want to blow it up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm so mean. <laughs> put 30. Be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. What? What the fuck? Oh. I am doing the math, but it's still not working. So that's 90. That's already too much anyway.
That's 30, 60, 80, 100. Why isn't this working? See any white cable? It's paired with a 15 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. Look, I'm all for strong, independent ladies, but uh, well, it would be nice if the fucking right? thing actually Thanks, told us a little bit. But more. I'm no lady. Okay, so white is 15. That's good to know. So what if we match up colors? I didn't even notice the colors before. Fuck. Fuck. So what's that? It's 15, 30, 50, 70, 90. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems good. There. You guys are so high and mighty. You guys should have came in and did it. Are you talking about the door for fucking forever? Okay. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not <laughs> spill it on your shoes. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wait, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't want to know. You wish. It scares off predators and rats. Ugh, lovely. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Hmm. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Hey there, little buddy. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. I'm just fucking staying in the barn. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Okay, I think that's it, really. I'll sort of look at out here. No, we still need to get in that room. Who's who? I don't. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here.
Come on, it's gonna get infected. That's fine. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure <laughs> out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! Hmm. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? You both could be Look, right. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. And Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, <laughs> I know he took care of you, but that he doesn't sure make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? You don't know him. I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? It is. You're just being a bitch. Get out. Get out. Uh, You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. Yeah, You're a goddamn like her. hypocrite. Get out. Sorry. You were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. She wasn't. I don't right. think she was angry. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? She wasn't attacking you. You go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. You could stay here. You're being a little bitch. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, 
I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <laughs> oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Uh-oh. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, no, he's a whiny bitch. Just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hon, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Um... Okay, fine. Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and, uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Well, it's just a look. Dee and I did that trail it. a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Yes. Oh, there you are. Look at this. I like this. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. <laughs> Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I don't know, have we? I feel like... So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, <laughs> we both need this money, and it'll take at least a few She's weeks, not interested. Right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass cared just about because her this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass, it's just hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I like learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. <laughs>
Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. God. I feel like we're eight again. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. <laughs> Is it really that hard to imagine? I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. You seem to get their priorities straight. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. You're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, <laughs> I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, <laughs> I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's just it's okay. showing. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. Yeah, because you I'm all are. for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. The only one who dealt with her for the last ten years because you didn't have the time to do so. Or whatever how many years I don't even remember anymore. Because you were going through stuff, do you not think that she was going through stuff too? Ta da! What's this? Oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna go exploring. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah, it was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. It felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. Where's the, oh, there's the truck. I was like, where's the truck? Another one. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Mm. Mary Ann was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. Funny how that In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with an ice pick. God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. Come on, you're a great artist, too. I'm nowhere near this level. You need to stop selling yourself short. Ba, 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 ba. There he is. I was wonder where he is. Hey, look what I found. And what did you find? Ah, 
I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem what's like he's on? in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Uh-oh. Uh Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time blah, with blah, his mom. Blah, 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 blah. No worries. You're not a bother. Oh, yeah. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information, too, then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Different last name? Yes, the father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. What's that look for? I forgot your birthday. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I got so wrapped up in Tyler mm -hmm. coming that it totally slipped my mind. I'll make it up to you, I promise. states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to get... Says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Tyler, uh, yeah, are you ready? Of course. Well, listen, nope. I really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, uh, can you come here? 
I'm right here. What? I'm right here. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at six. I made breakfast. And we Taylor, I you realized. ready? I hadn't grabbed the mail the night yes. before. Isabella asked to come with me. So I helped her into her coat and boots before we went out. We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Someone, something, was going through our mailbox. My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a little kid around her size. She shouted at them, but <coughs> by the time I turned around, they were gone. A little kid. Mm, that's what she said. Taylor, a you ready? Kid wearing stripes. I don't know what, what about you? What we're supposed Are to you do? Sure, you didn't see anything. I. No, I'm sorry. Where's Isabella now? At school. She's back at her father's house for the week. Could I get Mr. Henderson's information from you? I think it'd be helpful if I could talk to Isabella. Yes, of course. Taylor, you ready? Good morning, Chief Brown. <coughs> Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys! <laughs> I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Nope. Huh. <coughs> well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home? Mm, that's a no no. <coughs> Who designed this building? MC Asher? Leia is totally bizarre.
Let's go upstairs, Tyler. Okay. Upstairs. Let's go this way. Just cause. Maybe I want something from the vending machine. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Alright. And you just told me to go upstairs. What about this back entrance? There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Shouldn't we figure out? Just push the fire alarm. What do you want me to do? It's a big enough distraction. Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Anyway, hmm. that's it. What happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Do, 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 do. We're bad. You had now? Uh, yes. Uh. Yeah, I need to smoke. You should think about quitting. 
Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. Police Chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on Let's him. put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Okay, what are we looking for? Oh, Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is. Doesn't he? He's a genuinely Shut good up. person. And saying that here is so he's even worse. Huh. So he's made Dallas a few police force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan. Perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. And computer- Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? Oh. What does that mean? I don't- I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Okay. Cool. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Oh, hey. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Huh. <laughs> oh, yes. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration. Uh. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did. Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? I'm sorry, Allison. Confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da di do. Seriously? Go on, try. Dum da.
I don't think that's the right order. But yeah. I think it's Gee, only twenty-four different possibilities. Shut the fuck up. Yes. But it, it's there's a camera, guys. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in There's a in camera right there. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. 